It's time for our doctor's prescription. Are you guilty of blowing your nose the wrong way? Mm. <laughs> right, has anyone ever actually taught you how to blow your nose? Will you teach us yes. next time you're feeling sick and have a stuffy nose before you reach for that tissue? I want you to listen up. That stuffy feeling inflamed blood vessels in your nose. Drew, as near nose and throat doctor, you know this. It's, a, it, it's why you can blow your nose, you still sound real nasally. But the problem is a lot of people blow their nose so forcefully, it just irritates that whole area, it irritates those vessels more, can increase swelling. And if you blow so hard, the snot, and I'll call it snot, it's really mucus, it can actually go retrograde back up into your Ooh. sinuses. So that forceful nose blowing that you see everyone do where they just, they take the handkerchief and go and when you do that, you're not necessarily blowing the right you can way. Break so the blood vessel in your eyes. So close one side. Mm. Gently, lightly blow through the other. You're reducing the chance of irritation. Then switch it up. Do the other side. And I think yeah. saline nasal sprays. I, I love using those, particularly in the morning and at night, to loosen loosen up that mucus. And then wow. blow away. Wow, this is both a good. <laughs> but one nostril at a time. This is both a good health tip and like good etiquette. Like I feel like we're in etiquette school. Like so dainty, just. Eh. Well, you can hear some people blow their nose so from hard. a mile away. Oh. That. Have you ever oh. seen someone in your ear, nose, and throat days blow out their sinuses? Yes. Yes. That is crazy. Bleeding into the white of your eye. Because they blew yes. so hard. Bloody nose. Yes. Yeah.